Come on. Well, here are some happy campers. Get lost, Carl. It would take us about one and a half seconds to come up with, oh, 3,000 reasons for you to be tossed out of here. I'm just delighted to be a free man. Hello, Ron. Carl, I suggest you go. Champagne. Celebrating the impending nuptials, eh, Victoria? Let me see those lovely eyes. Yes. It's all right. A compliment, Ryan. It's not a threat. Cass, why don't we all just go? And not on my account, please. I'm just thankful that my wrong co wrongful conviction was overturned in time for me to be at your wedding. <laughs> in your dreams. Yes, it is. Carl, remember, you leave Vicky out of this. Victoria, I apologize that my gift arrived at your house damaged. Um, I'll, I'll gladly replace it with something more practical, if you like. Has anybody bought you a frying pan? What are you talking about? Vicky Carl uh, bought us a cracked loving cup. Oh, Ryan didn't tell you. You've seen Carl before now. Secrets can be such a scourge within a marriage. You must ask your mother. You know, you two really should get your heads together and work this out before okay, the big Carl, day. fun is over. Oh, no, okay. It's just begun. And may you have a wonderful wedding day, too, my dear. Is, uh, is Kathleen going to be there? I think she should be one of your attendants. Here yeah, in pink. Pink taffeta. Oh, there's a sight. Yeah, I'm afraid you young ladies have chosen a couple of veritable hotheads. Oh, well, that could make the wedding night fairly interesting. But then I suppose you've done all that. Well, I feel a bit peckish. I wish the four of you all the happiness that you could find. It's just impossible. I promise you, Carl is going to go back to prison. How could you have kept this from me? What? You didn't tell me you've seen Carl before. 